Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. You know, life during a mud flood. And I say that not really even facetiously, because I do think that's kind of the a part of where we are in this world, as people have woken up to the fact that there's been very, very advanced civilizations here that suddenly... Uh, maybe six feet, a dozen feet, 20 feet underneath our feet. What really is going on out there? Now, here you have somebody wishing Florida and Georgia, and you should add to that the Carolinas, maybe even Tennessee, and uh, maybe even other states to that list as they're facing the power of Hurricane Helene. Just think, in Italy, near Venice, we often end up like this due to high water and flooding is that not crazy is that not crazy well in case uh, you don't know hurricane helene has made quite an impact i know i'm sitting here watching this video thinking oh my gosh what if they had just one little teeny tiny leak in that window door thing mm. it's gonna get wet and again you know i always uh think of how cold it is you know one thing about florida is it's not really ever too too cold this is the morning light revealing extensive storm surge uh, damage. This is in Steinhatchee. The peak surge here was about 10 to 12 feet. They are estimating, as you can see, houses are on their sides, um, you know, fencing wiped out. Everything is a mess. It's the expanse of this storm. This, this storm, I think when we look back, we're going to say this was like we were <laughs> bombed or, or hit by an enemy along almost half of our east coast, if not more. Seriously, <laughs> when we look at it, as you can see, that house is totally up out of water. By the way, we did this. Uh, this was a Patreon exclusive. The evil matrix is crumbling. Be extra aware as we are feeling the pressure from uh, YT. And they are obviously on lockdown mode right now with certain topics uh so we only put this one up on patreon again we want to thank everybody for your support over at patreon where there are uh, exclusive videos um typically twice a week sometimes three times a week pa uh, patreon exclusives that that's the only place where you're going to find them and we're talking a lot more clearer because you know hey we've been through it before we've been through the ringer before uh, about four years ago, five years ago, literally five years ago at this point in time, where it just seemed like every single video we put up, uh, they were giving us strikes on and taking them down. And it, it's just par for the course. Now, here is the current position of Hurricane Helene, which, as you can see, is is generating still uh 70 mile an hour wind gusts in some spots a lot in the 60s you know you see the capital of south carolina here columbia this is showing uh almost 60 mile an hour winds in that area also up hitting charlotte uh, atlanta's on the back side of it right now you know knoxville you'll be feeling that uh, shortly, if you're not already, looks like it's already gusting into the 40s in Knoxville area. Uh, so, you know, this is a huge one. The impacts here, just incredible, as you're going to see. This storm really uh, was <laughs> substantially off the coast of uh, Fort Myers, and yet wait till you see the flooding that occurred in Fort Myers. And Tampa Bay is waking up to find that everything is a mess and it's wet. And it did impact as a Category 4. So this, is, this was a biggie. This was a biggie. And when we look at the power outages, let me refresh this because this was up for a little bit here. See if it's changed. Okay. Uh, yeah, over 1.1 million uh, without power right now. Now this is... Uh, households too because you see customers tracked 11 so about 10 percent of of florida as far as households go uh, go are without power at this point in time that that's a lot of people and then you go up into georgia 
and you have over a million without power in Georgia. Now that's a high percentage because you have you know four million nine hundred households in Georgia being tracked, and you know here you have over a million without it. Go over to South Carolina, and then it's even a higher percentage, as you have one one point two million without power on 2.8 almost 2.9 being tracked and now tennessee i see has joined the list here uh north carolina almost half a million without power 15,000 in uh, tennessee 29,000 uh in virginia this is a big one this any way you look at it this is a huge impacting storm this is fort myers now this this was last night Look at, you would think that this thing is coming in around Fort Myers or came in around Fort Myers, but no, it was way off the coast. This was a massive storm. Now, it's good that it moved very fast, but at the same time, moving really fast in the expanse of it, it, it dr definitely dragged a lot of water with it. It did, it did, and it, it drug a lot of water for a long ways, too. I mean, that just seems unusual. There's a lot about this hurricane that doesn't seem on the up and up, you know, anywhere from when you when you look at the, the screenshots of the hurricane watching it, you know, the little spirals that are in there that just look really, really odd, almost like they're kind of cranking it up. Here, go faster, go faster, like you know, something that might be a little more man-made, but what do I know? I mean, I'm just here for entertainment purposes only. I'm not suggesting that the controllers would do such a thing. Oh, or even that there is controllers. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, no. no. Every, everything is just wildly random, sure. This is from Lee County Sheriff, by the way. Um, this is terrifying even more so when you feel uh, the reality of just that expanse. Again, this is not even close to the bullseye. If you're throwing darts, this is maybe the, the last ring. Uh, it's almost like it's some sort of test run or something. Well, I hope if this is just a test run. So, yeah, this is, you know, again, Fort Myers area and downtown Naples as well so naples is the last um city on the gulf side before you get into the everglades and you know this this is as as low as you can go on the gulf side and and really where did it impact well it, it hit right in the bend it, florida is a very long state you know for for those that have driven from jacksonville down to miami you know how long this this state is uh, especially if you've made the trip after going through the New England states and then the little states like Delaware and Maryland that you just blink and you're through. Uh, here you go, and this is Pinellas County. You can see uh, tons of damage. This is going to take a while uh, to sort out you know, exactly how damaging this was for those that are over in Sarasota County and you know, are still cleaning up from the last impact. You know, this this did again flood out that area too. Still waiting to hear from some family members in in some of these areas to make sure everybody is okay. I haven't heard back yet. Um, this is a man in his living room. This is a man in his living room. He's taken to the kayak. You know, that is our our last option too. We have two kayaks. The only problem is uh, the puppies uh, are kind of big. And if we had to take each one on a kayak, I think we'd sink. <laughs> you know, again, uh, mold issues in houses, um, black mold. Uh, it just not good situation. It's, you know, going to really get to be where, you know, and it already is happening where people can't get insurance in certain areas. You just won't be able to get insurance. So reports of uh, severe flooding, dramatic videos from Fort Myers all the way up to Tampa, Steinhatchee, and Perry. You know, this is, again, there's just so much coming out right now. It, it, big impacts, absolutely. You know, it, it impacted as a strong Cat 4. So, and, and the other thing to take into consideration is as far as the expanse of the storm, it was a huge one.
So sometimes you might have more uh, smaller intense ones like Hurricane Michael was not so expansive. This storm was just enormous. And again, it's, it just feels very weird. So this is as things were building last night in St. Peach, St. Pete Beach. Um, you know, there are so many, as you see people saying, pray for Florida. Now that they realize the type of damage that's been done, um, you know, yes, okay, th th so thankful for all the people that did make it through the storm. Uh, you know, take seriously the threat because, you know, these threats are building. They're obviously building. I really think of um, some of the comments that we, we've heard out of, you know, the few, for instance, saying, well, you know, they don't seem to be getting the climate change thing, but maybe they'll understand water. What did you mean by that? What did you mean by that exactly? And I know a lot of you guys remember the videos where they said that exactly. Clearwater, please shut off all access to Clearwater Beach. Again, I think right now there's an awful lot of people stranded. Uh, we were watching um, some early news coverage. And it seemed like every re reporter they're talking to, doesn't matter where they are, they're they're not able to get back to the studio because uh, so many uh, bridges are just impassable. And in, again, if you live in Florida, you know, there's tons of bridges everywhere. Causeways, Memorial Causeway closed to fur further notice. A lot of people being rescued from their homes. I think people um, just maybe breathed a sigh of relief that it wasn't going to come directly into Tampa. But the storm surge has affected Tampa big time. This is the battery. Now, the battery, this is in Charleston, South Carolina, by the way. Uh, one of my favorite areas. I love seeing these these uh, amazing old houses. So historic. You know, at some point in time, I, I've never gotten to take Cindy there. Um, I, I view there's like three jewels in the south. I've always had this in my head in Charleston and savannah and then new orleans uh as far as just uh places that everybody if you want to experience the south you got to see these places this is the deep south and uh history but the battery does flood and as you can see you know charleston underwater here with this and you know a lot of people were watching too because people are waking up and 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 smelling the coffee when it comes to manipulation this person says look at this whole section of clouds just kind of disappear what's going on there it just disappears is it just a glitch is it just normal you know there's there's more people suspicious and looking right now than ever this is Asheville Asheville this is the Biltmore and this was way before Helene had made landfall. And look at how, how much underwater this is. Now, you know, that's insane. You know, you're, you're really pushing your luck when you're driving through that. Look at that water coming in. This is Asheville. This is so far inland. It doesn't matter if you're inland in these times. Asheville is high ground. You know, it doesn't matter if, if you're at three or 4,000 feet elevation in these times or higher because, you know, when you're in the mountains, then you got to watch out for landslides and mudslides too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Watching this and watching all the hardships and I just, I can't keep my mind off of the pets and the livestock, you know, because people are able to take care of themselves and, and their loved ones, but the livestock and the pets, if they get left behind, they're at the mercy of the weather and you can see the weather is not being so merciful um we definitely need to hold keep and hold our intent that uh, you know people and animals get out of there okay and that there is not not too much damage you know and that this really doesn't happen again um it just feels like it doesn't have to be this way this feels a little bit deliberate <laughs> yeah I'll agree with you there, and, and I'll raise that a little bit. <laughs> Let's up the ante there. 
Uh, this is Tamiami Trail, and you can see the flooding here, Manatee County. Uh, and let's see, this is um, Valdosta, Georgia. Yes, this is you, just when you cross over pretty much the Florida border, the first, um, the first major city town that you're going to come to is Valdosta when you're you know, heading up this way. And you can see lots of trees down. This was just an enormous, is an enormous storm. And, you know, here you have Dr. Jane Ruby saying, what is this? This is a government operation and showing energy beams that we were talking about yesterday that Into Thin Air was showing. And we have seen these beams in uh, many times around these type of bigger uh, weather events. You see a, a beam. Now, this is exactly what would be, uh, in biblical terms, you know, given to us as the wrath of God because the people have sinned. sinned. Yes, yes, they have not obeyed the controllers in one way, shape, or form. And so, you know, again, understanding this type of technology, uh, which ultimately, you know, it does come from a non-human source. I know there's a lot of people that just don't want to accept that, but I know you guys get it. Here you go again. You see these spiraling patterns within the storm. This one's kind of blurry, but we, we've seen this time and time again. The same patterns, the same beams of light. And, you know, again, uh, of course, the mainstream's not going to show this because, you know, the mainstream is a mouthpiece uh, for the control system. Now, we jump across to Spain. What do you see? You see... A uh, very similar situation. It, it is, again, uh, part of the timing of these great redos all across Europe. Countries getting hit with these floods. Very unusual. Again, it's going to be blamed on climate change because there's a series of agendas all leading to that 2030 uh, one. And again, yeah, you know, when you really look at it, uh, Agenda 21 from back in the day, didn't life totally change in 2021? I mean, it started in December of 2019, but then you had the response and you had all the lockdowns, etc. You know, it's obviously, it, for so many people, this is just blatantly obvious that there's something uh, seriously wrong with what we're watching and not normal this is Leicester in the UK everywhere you look just massive massive flooding so let's look at something pleasant oh my gosh isn't this beautiful what's stopping you from moving to Italy ah Italy beautiful the Mediterranean one of the most beautiful places on the planet Caribbean, awful, beautiful as well. Um, I will say, my pizza looks better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'll share you guys some photos if you don't believe me. I would agree. It looks better. But, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I just wanted to give you a little sunshine on this rainy day in so many ways. And I just wanted to share this because I thought this was cute and uh, uh, kind of like, wow, you're not kidding. Do you realize that Neo had to accept cookies from the Oracle before interacting with her? <laughs> he had to accept cookies. Oh, that's that's funny. You know, we all better learn how to swim in these times. It was Tool that said that. Learn to swim. Learn to swim. Absolutely. It, it's, it's good to uh, hone your skills wherever they may be lacking. So... You know, think about things. It, you're going to have so many people without power today. Um, a massive amount of people already without power. So, you know, how are they going to be cooking and, and going about things? Because it's obvious that these times are, are still on the upswing. They're still ramping up. They are. So be safe out there. Yes, and again, thank you guys so much for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. Stay safe, stay prepared, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.